I hated winter. And I dreaded it, and whenever it snowed or got cold, I was like, oh. But after I found snowboarding, it was something to look forward to. And my advice to you guys is to find something you're passionate about or just something that you like to do during the winter, like snowboarding, skiing, or sledding with your friends, and just find something that you enjoy that you can enjoy the cold. Especially when you live somewhere that's cold, you don't really have a choice to move somewhere warm. There's nothing wrong with just sitting down and watching a movie, honestly. It's one of the most simple but nicest things to do. Bringing joy to other people can be one of the happiest things you can do in life. And I definitely try to live by that. And I feel like shoveling other people's like driveways and stuff just makes their life easier and can make your life happier. So whenever it snows, maybe go shovel a few driveways. Also, another great thing you can do is walk your, uh, walk your dogs. I'm a dog person, but my mom loves cats. Eat food. I sound so fat saying that. I'm not fat, I just need to work out more. I <laughs> slipped into the snow and I fell on my face in front of a high schooler who laughed at me. And then I came up and I was like red and I looked like I just like died. And he laughed at me so hard. In Utah, the big thing is like, getting soda, so we're gonna go get soda. Yeah. She has to uh, fulfill her addiction of Diet Coke. I, I can't do it though, remember? It's true, she can't. This month, she's going a whole month without drinking, without Diet, drinking Coke. Diet Coke. You should vlog it. So basically, after I stopped like using binkies or pacifiers when I was little, I went to Diet Coke at like age four. So I am addicted to it. I don't even know what it tastes like anymore. I just know it makes me feel good. <laughs> so oh my I'm gosh. getting off of it for the month. And seeing what I can do, so I don't know what else to get. I've, I've never gotten anything else from soda. That's the stereotypical like Utah thing. Everybody just drinks soda around here. Oh, it's very Like about nobody that. can have like, nobody like drinks coffee here, no. or nobody <laughs> has like no alcohol here. Houses, there's like soda places. Yeah, it's just a bunch of like soda places, like Swig, yes. Fizz, other places um, like so that. Delicious. So delicious. None of those are sponsored, by the way. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> But, um, no, yeah, we're gonna go get a swig right now. What do you get if you don't drink Diet Coke? Like, what you do don't you drink get? Diet Coke? I usually get Dr. Pepper because it's better. Oh, no. Or uh, root that. beer. But you know, there's also they have cookies there too. The Pretty thing? much, it's just a sugar packed place because yeah. we can't have alcohol. So it's... She, she doesn't know what to get because she can't drink know. Diet Coke. I, I always am like, yeah, just Diet Coke, no ice. And now I'm like actually looking at the options and they kind of have good stuff. I've never oh, seen wow. That Get a refresher. It's yeah. just water. And it's, it's flavored. Strawberry. It's really good. They also have bobas too. No. Boba is weird. Do you like boba? I actually love them. I think they're so you fun. Like the it's little, like a little party in your mouth. You like having balls in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we say it like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my the goodness. The best thing is that you go, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Utah. <laughs> Home of the soda? For real. And nothing, literally nothing else. A few years ago, it used to be like, um, frozen yogurt. Was it? Was yeah, that, like was men's that cheese. Me? Like men's cheese. What do you mean? Men's cheese. I've never heard of like, that. Like, it used to be the big thing. Like, really? you'd go and like, can we get frozen yogurt? So there's like a bunch of like frozen yogurt places and like ice cream places, which I'm sure there's a lot of ice cream places everywhere, but like frozen yogurt is like the big deal. Like in middle school. Really? Now it's like soda. How is it? Holy shirt walls. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait. See? Diet Coke isn't all that you make it out to be. We'll go to a, like yeah, this, a, yeah. We'll go to a dirty soda place and she'll just get straight Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I here's here's an unpopular opinion is that Dr. Pepper sucks. Uh uh. It's the best soda. Is this what did you get? I got Dr. Pepper. What is in it? You know? It's got like raspberry puree with like coconut, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I got the raspberry dream <laughs> for the Utah nuclear. people that know the, the swig order like the back of their hand. I got that is so good. I'm gonna try it. Have you you have you had it? 
Isn't that good? Like on a scale of one to ten, this is a ten. That's yeah, like a, definitely. A a eleven, two. I know. <laughs> well, eleven minus like nine or something. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. So usually when you go to Swig, you get like you know a drink with like something in it, you know, like spice up a little bit. But she'll just yeah. get a straight Diet Coke. Because she, I'm normal. She's boring. <laughs> Might as well go to like you know Smiths. Which is over there. And just grab and a get, diet coke. Like a six pack for the same price. Okay, now you have to rate this on the Okay, now we got a this cookie. This is the dirt ball, which. It looks so good. It actually but does. But I think this um, is like crumble and like is chip better. do better. You know what you should do? Crumble that. is literally the best. It's like, this is also not sponsored by Crumble. Okay, we need to like hit them up. <laughs> well, I, I know, I should get sponsored, even though I need to get more subscribers. Um. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like they have amazing cookies, and it, it's like so gooey and everything you want in a cookie is mm -hmm. pretty much like a brownie too. It's fat and like warm. But these are good too. Mm. Well, good those, you can ask them to like warm it up too. You can? We didn't do that, but if you have to warm it up, it's really good. I was eating ice cream. Did you have dairy-free ice cream? No way. My sister is lactose intolerant, and so we have a bunch of dairy-free ice cream in the house, and I'm like, why do we get this stuff? Have you had Bluebell ice cream? That's what it was like in Austin. That was like the thing. She grew up in Austin. What is Bluebell ice cream? Are you serious? I don't know what that is. It is the sexy. I've never been attracted to a food before I had that. Really? Yeah, it is so good. Holy cow. It's like, like Tillamook like puts that to shame. Easily. No way. Yeah, huh. Like 1,000%. Mm -hmm. Tillamook is so good. And it's just like simple ice cream you can buy like a, a store. There's other places that we have here called like Cold Stone, like Baskin Robbins. Iceberg is really good milkshakes. You should do like videos on like breaking all of them. Like crumble versus chip. Versus we want to do a video where we go to every single place in the Utah Valley that fries. sells fries. Yeah. And rate them from best to worst. I'm already going to put Burger King way down the list. Yeah, Even I think I, in my my personal opinion, Chick Fil A is up there. I love their fries, and I feel like their sauce just really makes it too. This has been the worst winter Utah's ever had, as far as snow goes. Like, usually the snow should be so high by now, especially in the valley. It should be a decent size, but like, it's really only been snowing up in the mountains, and even the mountains haven't got that much. What?